Well babe, here we are. This is Wolf's Caves on the north coast, to the right of the uh, transmitter mast at uh, Fremont. Take some finding, I actually went down a, um, this way I came up there, it looks absolutely nothing of course as the videos make everything look flat but uh, a bit of a scramble. I went down the wrong side of this uh, peninsula on the left there, I went down and uh, almost fell. <laughs> Well, didn't almost fall down a cliff, but it was, uh, it was pretty steep on the other side. Anyway, obviously you can see what's going on down there. There's an inlet, and on the left you can almost see the cave entrance actually. Plenty of ravens around today, they're everywhere. It's uh, almost the breeding season for them. Right babe, this old path's uh, showing the way, kind of. I see how I get on, this is it's pretty slippery today. So, uh, and steep down there, so I see how I get on. And on the, uh, on the right, there's a little stream which makes water. That's uh, why it makes the ground really marshy. I don't want to get too wet. Okay, babe, I'll see you when I'm down the bottom, okay? Here we are, babe. Just in the final uh, little bit down there. The worst is over. Uh, I just look up here. That's very Fort Shorten, but that's, that's, that's a pretty strenuous scramble. You can see here, there's some old posts from the path. And even down there, sorry, down there even, there's some uh, steps. As for the top path, everything's rotten. There's no indication where the path is. And, uh, oh, I'm tired now. That's uh, quite strenuous. I'm spending half the time on my bottom, <laughs> trying not to slide down. But um, here we are. No phone signal down here. So if anyone's coming down here, just let people know you're going. Absolutely nothing down here. No uh, internet, no telephone signal whatsoever. Just a little bit more down there, babe. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Hi, oh, babe. Sorry about the wind noise. Here we are, all the way down. And uh, doesn't that look nothing? It just looks like a grassy bank. What should effect it is? There's so many potholes and streams, you know, river, but well, not river, but streams going across. You get wet, you fall into potholes, you trip up over barbed wire, there's brambles, bits of fencing, you can't tell where they go. This is strange to think that well within my lifetime this is a major tourist attraction and now it's just overgrown, abandoned, no one comes down here. I doubt anyone's walked down here for a long time. There's no indication of any traffic, no discarded food wrappers, coke cans, beer bottles, nothing. And the cave is just in there, that tiny little entrance. I'll just nip in, I've got all my uh, torch and everything, I'll nip in in a second and have a look. Well, I was just interested to find out how to get here, really. We can come back here in the summer when the days are longer and it's warmer and the stream's dried up and these rocks also be drier. These rocks are covered in uh, slippery sort of algae. So treacherous, really. But uh, it's, a, no, it's a windy day today. There's someone's got a pot boy right in there. Look, look, look how close that is. Possibility of bringing the boats in here, but uh, very rocky, babe. Probably not really. Oh, I'm tired now, goodness me. Oh. No wonder they used to have warnings at the top up there if you've got a heart problem, if you're old. Well, that's, me, uh, that's me discounted. Uh, don't try and come down. It's getting up this bad. Well, actually, I think coming down is worse than getting up. I will find out in a second. Okay, babe, I'll see you momentarily. Hey, babe. This is right at the back of the cave and uh, this is all wave washed, it's not dry at all and what's happened over the years is a combination of rain and air pressure from the waves when they come in have blown a, a hole through the roof. That's not the sea up there, that's, that's the land, that's, that's to the south, that's as far as you can go. This cave's not that big. <laughs> It's not that big, it's not actually easy to get to. I don't know what the Victorians saw in this place, to be honest with you. There are better caves in Jersey than this anyway. Uh, what is nice is down here. Right, I'm going to walk and talk. This is the main part of the cave. It leads to another opening. Um, as you come down from the top, from, from the grassy bank, which uh, you saw a second ago, you enter a kind of vertical, very narrow vertical entrance 
to the cave. You're coming on like a, a side sort of tributary, I suppose you'd call it. I don't know what they call it, they caving. It's sort of like a side entrance. But the main cave, whoops, almost falling backwards. The main cave is down here. Hang on, babe, I'm just going to uh, get my bearings. I don't want to break my ankle in here. That would be all kinds of unnice. I mean, it's a, it's a decent cave. Like I said, or if I haven't said, I will say, I haven't been down here for, oh, do you know what, 40 years maybe? Certainly 35. I don't think I've been down here since I was well before climbing. Well before I started to climb. There are no climbs around here, babe. It's all uh, poor quality rock. Water is freezing cold. And down here is the seaward side. This is the main entrance to the cave from the sea. This is where the canoeists come in. Plenty of pictures on the canoe club's website of... Uh, sorry, babe, I can't see what I'm doing. Well, I can see what I'm doing, but I can't see what I'm filming. Uh, plenty of fo oh, God, footage of people in this cave. They're half water, half tide, you know. Far easier to get here by sea than it is by land. And there's a big pond here, pool, they call it the Venus Pool, I believe. God knows why. Certainly too, uh, let me see if I can get up here. Certainly too deep to wade across, that's, I can't even see the bottom of that. But uh, it's a bit of a, a wash out there, but you can see the uh, obvious entrance from the sea. And through, um, oh, I've lost my bearings, through there I think, around the corner is the entrance to the Wolf's Caves part where we came down. That's amazing down here, babe. Because of the... Uh, because of the loss of the cliff path, which is now behind the fence, which itself is hard to get over. People are just not motivated to come down here anymore. Well, what a shame, eh? Years ago, there used to be a, a pub at the top, I certainly remember that. But the wolf in this, funnily enough, it wasn't really a wolf. I think it was a stuffed Alsatian, but uh, it's for people who uh, wanted a pint after climbing the stairs. Right, babe, I'm going to go back through there, and I'll see you in a bit.